Finally gonna decorate the sky. So good, it's so chewy. You guys, he's been doing this thing lately where he just sits up and stares at me like this. So the tree is done and ready for our gift exchange tomorrow. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. You guys, happy Vlogmas day 12? 12. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's 12. Anyways, I am feeling so good right now. I finally went to the gym. We've been slacking all week. We haven't been to the gym once. The last time that I went to the gym was on Saturday, which was the followers control my day. So it's been a little while. It's Friday. So I'm feeling good since I went to the gym, took a shower, and I actually did a little bit of makeup. First time I put on makeup since Sunday, and I've literally been feeling like a bum all week. I've just... I've had the laziest week. I would just like get up and roll out of bed and just like wear what I was wearing to bed all day. Wouldn't do any makeup, 
barely even brush my hair. It was definitely a very lazy week for me this week, but I feel good since I was productive today. Like I said, worked out, took a shower, which I've been taking a shower, but like taking a shower after the gym just like is so much more satisfying in a way, just cause like you just sweated and then you wash all that off and you just feel so fresh and so good. But yeah, I actually like did my hair too. So definitely feeling a lot more cleaned up. But right now I'm just finishing up work while I do some laundry. I haven't washed clothes in so long. I'm, I'm the worst. I have so many clothes that I don't need to wash clothes every week. I have more than enough clothes to probably even last me a full month, but I try to get to it at least once a week, but usually it's more every other week. But once I'm done with work, hopefully Trevor will be home. And tonight we are gonna decorate our Christmas tree. Finally gonna decorate. But once I'm done with work, hopefully Trevor will be home. And tonight we are gonna decorate our Christmas tree. Finally gonna decorate this guy. He's fallen just a little bit, got a little bit fluffier and stuff. This guy, he's fallen just a little bit, got a little bit fluffier fluffier and stuff and as it's fallen we've noticed like some of the branches were really long so we trimmed up quite a few of them. I have a little collection going right here and I've been using those on the presents. How pretty are these? We had a few more presents come in that I decided to wrap. I'm trying not to wrap all of the presents quite yet just because it's my favorite thing to do and I love saving that activity for the week before Christmas but since we are celebrating Christmas with Trevor's step family this weekend we just went ahead and wrapped all of their presents as well as the presents for his mom and for his sister and her family because his mom's gonna go to Arizona for Christmas so we want to send all of the gifts and you guys saw me wrapping those but the ones that are like for people here are definitely wrapped up in my more normal fashion this one's actually for Michelle right here has a nice bow on it this one is for his stepbrother I'm his secret Santa so I have this little bow that I made out of the same paper with the twine and then one of the leaves and yeah, just a few more over here. This one's for Michelle as well. This is her Christmas present. And then you guys can tell which ones are for his sister and her family because they have just the curling ribbon on them because again, his mom's going to have to pack these and transport them. So I didn't want to do anything fancy like this that'll get crushed in a suitcase or while she's traveling. I just wanted to keep it more simple. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get back to work and I can't stop looking in the viewfinder because I've been looking like a naked mole rat all week and this is like the first time I look fairly decent and I'm like who is this chick who is she but anyways I'm gonna get back to work and then once Trevor's home we're finally gonna decorate the sucker and then also to the celebration with his step family is a socially distanced potluck so I volunteered us to bring desserts so I'm gonna be making some cookies and some brownies tonight which we'll do together okay so it's just like a little while later and I'm starving I'm running the dishwasher right now that's what you guys are hearing because I'm trying to clean up the kitchen so that I can start baking but like I said I'm so hungry right now so what better thing to pregame making cookies than by eating a cookie? This cookie is from Dough and Arrow Cookie Cafe and I had wanted to try this place for the longest time. Um, oh sorry Pip, <laughs> he's like sitting down here. He's been like sitting with me all day, it's really cute. But I saw their photos on Instagram and oh my god the cookies there just like look so good so I had gone to the mall yesterday because we ran out of Nespresso and it's so weird usually Nespresso once I order it it ships out the next day and then it comes literally a day later it's usually so fast but I think because of COVID and because of the holiday season it just like took forever it took them like three or four days to finally ship out our coffee and it's still on its way and we ran out yesterday so I had to run to the mall to the Nespresso boutique to get us some more but I saw that dough and arrow is actually right by the mall near us so I went and I stopped and I got some cookies I got three cookies I ate two of them yesterday but one was a peanut butter and cream cookie which is basically a peanut butter cookie with like Oreos for cookies and cream sprinkled on top. That one was really good, but it was my least favorite of the three that I got. The other one that I got was a s'mores cookie, and oh, you guys, that one, fire. So freaking good. And then, of course, I also got just your classic chocolate chip cookie. The chocolate chip cookies have sea salt sprinkled on top, which is my favorite. I love salt sprinkled on top of something sweet. It's just so good. So I only had half of that yesterday because I had two other cookies. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish that up as my snack. But I wanted to show it to you guys. Like, it's so good. It's so chewy. It's just like pure perfection. And actually, speaking of these cookies, oh my god, my arm's so tired from holding this camera. But I want to tell you guys this. So... I got one for Trevor yesterday and he loved it and I was like what if instead of a cake for me we just get like a dozen of these cookies so he said yes 
Mm. So freaking good. But anyways, he said yes, which brings up my birthday. Because I told you guys in a previous vlog, we had to cancel my original birthday celebration because Southern California got shut down. We found out that in Huntington Beach, there's an ice rink at Pasea Hotel that is still open and it's overlooking the ocean, which just like gorgeous. Although I think we're going to go at seven. So I don't think there's going to be much of a view, but it's fine. But we're going to go ice skating with some friends of mine for my birthday. And then I'm just inviting a couple of people back here to hang out. Might order some wings and stuff. So that is what's going to happen for my birthday this year instead of the dinner that I had planned. So I'm happy that we still get to do something. And I'm super stoked about Wingstop. And now even more stoked now that Trevor confirmed that we will be getting cookies instead of cake. Like, I'm so excited. You guys, he's been doing this thing lately where he just sits up and stares at me like this once a day. What's going on? Why, why are you so creepy, dude? Yeah. You're turning around because I called you out. Mm hmm. dinner time Trevor went to the gym he came home for like a second then he went to the gym but he did confirmed that he did confirmed he did confirm that we are going to decorate the tree tonight so that's incredibly exciting but I'm just trying to eat my dinner before he comes back because he actually ate dinner before the gym which I just think is like absolutely psychotic because I'm starving after the gym so I don't know how he does this where he eats before the gym then just like has a piece of cheese after the gym. I don't get it. I would be dying and there he is. He's back so I did not make it in time. But I'm having that Cacciao e Pepe ravioli that I showed in the Trader Joe's haul. I had it last night. I didn't vlog yesterday and then the day before I was taking a break for a couple days but I tried it off camera and it's good. It's okay. It's not like as mind-blowing as everyone made it out to be. It's not bad, it's very simple, it's good, but I'm kind of wishing I had gotten the Cacciao e Pepe like frozen spaghetti instead because I hear that that one's like really where it's at. So I think next time I'm gonna get that, but this one, it's okay. Not anything to write home about. Well, what is going on here? Did you get caught? Did Dad catch you? Oh, you don't mind. Oh. I think he's freaking out. Just kidding. No, he does fine. mind. He does mind. <laughs> he wants down. <laughs> Is dad not letting you go? I'm sorry, buddy. Pip would like a hello. Jordan. <laughs>
the tree is done. I think it turned out really cute. I don't know why there's such a glare off of the lights, but a few things that we did different from last year, we used a different ribbon this year and did a different pattern. And then also you guys saw we strung the lights vertically, which I actually really like just because it like makes the placement and distribution a little bit like more random and stuff as opposed to when it's wrapped, it's just like so uniform and aligned. This just seems it's just more like the lights are randomly placed and it's almost like these lights don't twinkle, but if they did twinkle, I feel like it would give a better effect since we did it vertically, but I like it. It's cute. Definitely great for Christmas. But right now I have to go back into this very terribly lit kitchen. If you guys don't know about it, check back on previous vlogs, but I understand the lighting in here is awful. But it's time to cook our brownies. Have this brownie mix. I got the Duncan Hines dark chocolate fudge brownie and I need to figure out the pan size that we're using. I think this is an eight by eight or is it a nine by, oh, it should say on the bottom, right? It's an eight by eight, okay. So I'm gonna be cooking it in the eight by eight pan. So for this, I need two eggs, water, and vegetable oil. Have some canola oil over here. I hope that this is gonna be enough canola oil. It seems like it will be. I do wanna have more fudge brownies. Oh, to get it fudgy, only one egg, okay. So you just need one egg, but let's go ahead and start mixing this. And then I also need to preheat the oven to 350. for 20 minutes for an 8x8 pan it needs 30 minutes to cook but I'm also going to be doing some Christmas cookies so I'm going to put those in during the last 10 minutes but now I just need to clean up and I know it's so bad for you like I know it's so bad but anybody else just can't keep themselves from like eating the leftover brownie batter it's just like mm. it's so good like, it's so good I have to stop all right, so we're almost there on the brownies, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the cookies. I'm gonna be using these, you guys remember these sugar cookies? These are the best, but I got the snowman ones. And did you guys know Pillsbury cookies, their dough is safe to eat, like you can eat it raw. That's so cool. So I have this terrible issue where I snack on their chocolate chip cookie dough constantly. It's really bad. We'll go to bake some and I've already eaten like half of the container. But these luckily don't get too big, so I think I can fit a lot on here. I have a second baking sheet out just in case I need it, which actually I think I will need it because even though they don't expand that much, I still don't want to risk it, you know? So we'll keep it a little bit tighter. I think that that's about it. Okay, I will need the second baking sheet. not gonna lie I'm very tempted to eat this dough <laughs> even though I just had a bunch of brownie batter I have issues cool and pop these in brownies are looking good I can see them oh gosh okay this is not gonna scooch those over Perfect. All right, so we just need 12 minutes on the clock and we're good. So I had to add on just a couple more minutes, but I'm gonna pull up the cookies because they're pretty much good to go. They look so cute. 
but the brownies still need a couple more minutes. It was just a touch undercooked in the middle, so I'm gonna let it sit in there just for a little bit. I'm actually gonna turn the oven off so that it doesn't overcook. All right then, brownies should be done. Oh my god, it smells so good in here, you guys. It smells like a little Christmas bakery, and I am living for it. But I'm gonna let everything cool and then try new debate. Probably, yeah, I'll just I'm just gonna let everything cool, leave everything out overnight because I don't wanna try to start slicing up the brownies and then they just like fall apart because they're too hot, so. I think that that's probably the best choice. But here are the brownies. Seriously, they smell so good. You guys can see the sprinkles in there. And then when you slice it, you'll see the sprinkles, obviously. And then we have the cookies over here, these cute little snowmen, and ready for our gift exchange tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna level with you guys. Uh, I've stayed up so late that everything's now cool. So I figured I'll just go ahead and pack it all away. Oh my God. Any problem is like, we cannot, for the life of us, figure out where the hell all of our Tupperware tops went. We barely have any that match. Actually, we barely have Tupperware. It all disappeared on us. Part of it is Spartacus because he literally destroyed half of it. But the other half has just like totally vanished into thin air. All of like our nicer plastic ones are gone. I just like for the life of me cannot figure it out. Like does anyone else have the same problem where it like seems like your Tupperware just like vanishes because it's very annoying. But I'm gonna start with the cookies here and I'm not gonna lie I have sampled the cookies you know quality control. We gotta make sure that they're good. You know that's the responsible thing to do sampling your product. I have like one batch though that like burned on the bottom but you know I'm sure the kids will not mind that at all. But then like the other batch is perfect. So I don't I don't know what happened. They cooked for the same amount of time. I think it's because I cooked one batch on like oops, a solid sheet, which is clean since I used foil. And then I cooked another batch on an open one. So I think that that's why. So just like a heads up for if that happens to anyone else. The thing I'm worried about the most actually though is the brownies. I think is this cool enough to cut? I'll find out. I don't think that it's cool enough to cut. No. Definitely not. But you know, again, you gotta sample your own product, quality control, all of that stuff. And you know, I will sacrifice and I will take a corner. The corners used to be my favorite part of the brownie, but I don't know, ever since like I've grown up. Ooh, this is super fudgy. Look at that, that just looks like so, and I apologize in advance for using this word, but it looks so moist. Love that, and thick and dense, oh my God. The corner used to be my favorite part of the brownie, but as I've gotten older, I prefer the middle because I don't want the crust anymore. So I don't know where that came from all of a sudden, but. Mm. Oh my God. Wow, Duncan Hines. Yum. It's so funny. My mom usually is the one who makes brownies at like family gatherings and stuff. She always uses a box mix. And then people in her family always go, oh my God, your mom makes the best brownies. We're so excited for your mom's brownies, blah, blah, blah. blah. They tell her that she makes the best brownies. And she just takes it and says, thank you. Like she doesn't even like let people know that she's using a box mix. And I'm like, mom, you gotta tell people. Cause first off, you're lying. Second off, tell them which mix you used so that they can try to use it and make something, you know, next time they have a party or something. But it makes me laugh. Mm. Oh my God. This is so good. The sprinkles are cute, but you can like barely see them. I think that they just like cooked into the batter, honestly. I see like a couple here like in the back, but maybe I should have done more sprinkles. I mean, it's too late now, but now that I'm actually seeing it, probably should have done more. Mm. I do a little Happy Jones when I eat something super good, but I stayed up extra late because I'm just so hooked on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. I've seen the series before, you guys. This is not my first time watching it. I just decided to rewatch it and it's just so good. I just like, I love that show, but after I finish this, I have no idea what I'm watching next. 
So if you guys could do me a favor, leave a comment below of which shows you have loved like re-watching during quarantine. I like to watch like people's favorites. For me personally, New Girl, I've watched three times this year and I'm not lying. I love New Girl. It's my favorite show. I adore it. Oh my god, these are so fudgy. Mmm. Wow. I outdid myself. Delightful. Do me a favor. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what shows you like to rewatch. I want to check it out. Also, leave a comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of the brownie is. If you like the corners, side, middle, whatever. Mmm. It was so good. It was really good. Okay. Gotta pack this up. I still gotta make sure. I already wrapped my Secret Santa's gift, but I'm waiting to wrap up Trevor's. We did confirm that we did not get each other for Secret Santa, so that was good. So we know exactly who each other has. But the person that he has wants a gift card, and he's like, I'm just gonna grab a gift card. I'm like, give it to me still. I'm putting it in a box and wrapping it. Like, I'm jonesing to wrap stuff. I haven't wrapped, like, my family stuff. Anyone we're seeing on Christmas, I haven't wrapped their presents yet. Just because, like I've been saying, wrapping presents is my favorite activity. And traditionally, I save it all up until, like, the day before Christmas because I just, like, love doing a marathon wrapping session. But then, like, my back ends up hurting. So I've staggered it this year just so I don't stress myself out like I have in previous years. But also because with the way COVID is going and everything, the celebrations are just like a little bit all over the place. You know, obviously we're doing Trevor's family tomorrow, which is not standard. We usually see them on Christmas. So things like that are just kind of like throwing off our schedule. Also too, this weekend, we're going to go drop off his stepmom and his dad's gifts at their place. And we usually have breakfast with them on Christmas morning. But for that one, we're literally just going to drive by and drop it off on their doorstep. And they said that they will leave our gifts out on their doorstep, which is so odd like it's so weird that that's like how we're doing christmas this year but i mean it's unfortunate but at least you know those people are still here to be able to celebrate with so gotta be grateful for whatever you can right now but anyways i am gonna finish up the episode that i was watching these brownies do definitely still need to cool so i can't cut them up just yet so we'll just get to that tomorrow when i see you guys next